Okay. okay, so welcome, Patrice. Hello, it's me again. Meta brick guy. Uh, now I want to show you uh, a project I've been working on thanks to Metabrix. So in fact, it's what you can really do as a, an industrialized uh, stuff uh, written thanks to, to Bricks. So it's called uh, Sisyph.io. Uh, I, I wanted to do some stuff like uh, IPv4 uh, address space scanning like many people are, are doing since, uh, since a few years. So, um, and I wanted to have some information available in only one place, like uh, the tool I, I developed, as uh, you can sport scan the full internet and have also fingerprinting on the TCP port basis. I mean, you just send one packet to one open port and you have the state of the port, if it is open or not, and you also directly have the operating system, like is it a Linux or Windows or whatever. So it's possible thanks to two bricks, the network Postcan 1 and the network CNFP3 uh, 1. Uh, I did also perform mass reverse DNS scanning of all IPv4 addresses thanks to the network uh, DNS brick. So it takes something like uh, two months to complete, uh, well, to complete a full uh, reverse DNS scanning of all IPv4 addresses without being uh, blacklisted by your provider, it's better. And um, I also do some NetBlock and GeoIP location uh, information thanks to database ripe and lookup IP location bricks. And I wanted to look up, uh, to be able to have the state of an IP address if it is listed as a threat or not by a publicly accessible threat list like SNS, I block list emerging threats. In the end, I have to, to develop a distributed architecture to collect information. So I have to manage multiple uh, machines on the internet, thanks to the client OpenSSH brick. Uh, logs are collected via the syslog uh, ng protocol, so I use the brick to, to generate configuration file and uh, another brick to send um, messages formatted the right way for later inclusion in an Elasticsearch uh, cluster, which can be managed with a client Elasticsearch brick. And in the end, all of that is rendered on a website called uh, czif.io, which is here. So you just have an input field, and you enter uh, the IP address uh, you want, and click search. So for instance, here, um, the website regarding the result is not really fancy, but you have the information at least. So if you put this IP address, you have uh, ripe information regarding the IP address, its subnet, ISN, the organization owning the stuff. And uh, well, this is the geo IP location. And this is the on the right side, the stuff you can uh, have when you download the ripe databases. And regarding open TCP ports, uh, on this one I uh, found nothing, but you have the reverse DNS data. So all of that is stored in a database. There is no uh, active lookup performed on the specified IP address. So it's a screenshot. Uh, so that's why there is a date here. That's the, the, the time I did the reverse DNS lookup, so you know if the data is fresh or not. And uh, this one is listed by uh, I block list as uh, malicious IP. Uh, in fact, it's a network which was attributed to the hacking team, the famous uh, Italian uh, company. And today, because these lists are updated uh, daily, even though this network is no more attributed to the hacking team, it's still marked as malicious. So. You have to take care as uh, to take care of threat list and uh, not trust completely threat list. Uh, another example. So this one is uh, located in the United States, so you don't have ripe data, of course. The so U.S. don't share network data with uh, with the world for free, at least. And this one had a port a port 80 open, and you know it was a Linux operating system. It has been seen the last time in April uh, 
this year. And you have the reverse DNS data, again, which, give, uh, which gives some information on the company behind uh, the IP address and if it has been listed as a threat or not. Just a last one for the record. So here you have a complete uh, reverse DNS too, and you have really many information that, uh, that helps you understand which kind of IP address you have. So uh, it's, it's a work in progress because I want to add many more information to it, but when I do that on my spare time, so, uh, so that's, uh, that's it for uh, sisif.io.